Welcome to our new and improved Willowwood School website. I'm going to show you today how a parent, like yourself, can log in using a username and password that I showed you how to get in the first time logging in slash forgot your username or password video that came before this one. So first things first, when you get that information, enter your username. So mine is Matt R. My password I've typed in already. My advice would be to click on remember me so that you don't have to remember your username ever again and simply click log in. As a parent, when you first log in, you will be directed to our news tab. You will see recent activity. Here you will find any new posts that are associated with your student. In this case, my child, as you can see over here, is Missy. If you have multiple children, you will have a drop-down list that you can choose from. If you click over to featured content, here you will see all of our news stories. It's like an online newsletter for our school. So any news, upcoming events, media, as in videos and photos, etc. But now let's go into our student's profile for Missy. Right away you will see Missy's progress bar where you can check out her conduct, attendance summary, and if you scroll down a little further you'll see all of the courses that your child is currently enrolled in for the year. So here you can see grade for art, grade for French, and our grade for homeroom, etc. On the right side you'll see the teacher of that particular course and a way to message them directly, whether it's through our internal messaging system or simply using email. If you scroll down even further, you'll notice all of the sports teams that your student is currently a part of. So here we see cross country. And if we scroll up a little bit, the most important room for us is the grade four homeroom here. So let's click in. Here you will see a year at a glance of what is expected in grade four. If I click back into Missy, I can also click on assignments and assignments are going to be things like unit tests and homework. Scrolling up, I can also check out her contact card. This is where you'll find all of the general information for your child. Moving on, you can see this yellow bar. This has been there the whole time. In fact, it says that I have one form to review. And if I click into that, I can see that it is a permission form that I could actually review and sign online. Back up top, I can see any groups that I am associated with. So as a parent, I am part of the High School Parents Association, and I can click into there to see all of the news and information pertaining to that group. I can also click into resources to see other Blackboard 101 videos just like this, head back to my news if I'd like, or check out the school calendar, which is a really great feature. Here I can see everything that's going on in Missy's life for the month. So over here I see all of her assignments that are due, her schedule is embedded within here, any games and practices that she happens to be a part of, class events, group events, and any other relevant school events. Another great feature of the system is our personal messaging right up here. And if I want to compose a message, I click compose message. Choose who I want to send it to, so I'll send another one to Brooke. And send. This is a great way for parents to communicate with teachers and vice versa. Last but not least, you can check out your own profile. So here you will see all of the information pertaining to you. If you'd like to receive notifications about new assignments or new events to your email or your phone, click on your name at the top right and go under settings. Here you can select notifications, add in a text number and an email address, and choose the types of notifications that you want to receive. So here I want to receive by email any messages that come through our messaging system. If I also want to know when assignments are added, I can click on assignments. And if I put in a phone number, I can click on text over here. Some parents might find it useful to know when a game has been added or changed and even receive a game reminder. All that being said, go into the system, play around, Feel free to email me at mattr at willowwoodschool.ca and have some fun with it. Thank you so much for your time.